What's going on everybody? Dumb boys back at it. We're gonna go ahead and wrap up I form slot flex today. We're gonna give you two plays, uh, the flanker dig I like to use versus man. But really my favorite play here is hitch corner. That's gonna be something that I love to use against any type of zone coverage. So let's just get right into it. Let's go through our setups for hitch corner and we will start against cover three and I will show you two different setups. So the first setup will be if we have our two wide receivers out to the wide side of the field. And I always keep in mind, this is a rollout play, so it is best to roll to your quarterback's strong side. Uh, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm not so worried about that. So we would take X, put him on a go. We would take Y and put him on an out. Now, the reason we have to put X on a go is when you run a corner route against cover three, if you run it out to the wide side of the field, the outside corner is much more likely to bite down and take that away. So we need to have X run a streak to take that corner away. So we're going to roll out and we make a high low read between Y and B. If the user chases that, then we just throw back to the middle of the field to A. We're going to go ahead and double team the end anytime we want to roll out. And we just make our high low reads. This will be my favorite setup for this. I do believe it is a little bit more effective. We're gonna take Y, put him on a curl. Then we double team the defensive end over here. And that's it. So what we're doing is we're creating a high-low up the sideline and a high-low over the middle. If the user follows us to the sideline, we look back to the middle and make our high-low read. If the user stays in the middle, we make our high-low read up the sideline. If they have everything mabled and taken away, they probably do not have a spy, in which case you can just run with your quarterback and get a few free yards. But you see to the short side of the field that outside third stays high no matter what. So that is very important to understand post-patch in general beyond just running this play. Now when it comes to playing against cover four match or man, this play just won't be as good. Although that corner route can beat man. And if they're shading over the top, you can definitely throw the hitch. But I definitely prefer this for cover three and cover two looks. Let's go over flank or dig. This will work best with your receivers out to the wide side of the field, just because that's gonna give you more room to pass lead the slot out. Also, it's gonna give your tight end a little more time to come open, and it will create a little bit better timing for you on the tight end and the dig route combo. I'll primarily use this against man. So maybe uh, somebody's a little bit worried about the run game. They're doing something like this, or maybe they're concerned about the pass game even. So we'll say they even think the pass is coming. So they do something like this, and they're going to go ahead and rover up here. So how we read this is first we're going to watch B. If B gets a step, we can go ahead and pass lead that out towards the pylon and try to get an easy touchdown there, and I'll show you that. Keep in mind this isn't a man beater per se, so it will depend a little bit on overalls and abilities. But that's just the first read that I like to make. If he gets off the press clean, we can go ahead and lead that out towards the pylon and get ourselves an easy touchdown. So if that doesn't get open, then we're going to watch A and we're going to watch X. Odds are they're not going to have a hard flat in while they're playing man. So the user might have to bite down on A. If the user does bite down on A, then you go ahead and have X. Uh, maybe the user is cheating and using the running back's man, and then you end up having uh, your running back open as well. So if we go through the reads, we pretend B doesn't get open. I'm going to watch A, then I'm going to watch X. Uh, odds are you're just going to go ahead and throw the ball to A real quick. If you do end up throwing that dig, that deep in coming across, typically against man, you will want to low point that. So I'll try to illustrate that here. And we're just going to go ahead and secure catch that as well. Now something we can do just to kind of mix this up a touch. Uh, maybe they're playing a zone and they have hard flats in. Uh, they're starting to expect that tight end. Just something where we can get this really the same concept differently. We'll take X, put him on a drag. And we'll take A, put him on an in. Then we will smart route that in. And you can see we create essentially the same play just in reverse. Uh, so we would make a quick read to X. If the user follows X, which he likely will, then we can go ahead and try to hit A coming back across the field. 
So let's take a quick look against cover two. Uh, again, we can just go ahead and quick snap this. If you are playing regs and you have someone like a brown or a hill in that slot, then you can just go ahead and when he gets even bout with that safety, you just pass lead that in and you can bomb him out deep. Uh, I would not try that in mutt. You will probably get picked off. But if you're playing regs and you have that overall advantage, it is noteworthy. So what's worth noting is someone's going to have to react to that something like this. And then, you know, they might use this guy and, and keep a, a vert over the top of that receiver side there. So in that case, again, we have simple high reads over the middle, right? We're going to go ahead and watch the user. If the user follows A across, then we'll probably just throw to Y real quick. If the user maybe has a Mabel in, so he doesn't chase A and that's covered and he sits down on Y, if he has a Mabel in, then X would come open. Uh, and that would hold true uh, against cover three as well. Lastly, against cover four, really doesn't matter how they play it, match or not, you're really just going to be going ahead and reading that user, right? So if the user chases the tight end, you're going to look back at Y and X. Uh, if he lets the tight end go, you can go ahead and throw it to the tight end. Uh, it might be common that a user will trail the tight end, CX, and then jump back on X, in which case you could throw the ball to the running back. So you'll see A is going to get open late. Uh, and then if I had time in the pocket, of course, that uh, dig would come over as well. Dig being the deep in. So B is really not likely to get open, but you've got A potentially. And you've got X potentially. But do note, if the match is in, they'll follow him. So maybe not the best play call against a cover four. I do think it's worth noting that if you set this play up with the tight end, on the smart routed dig or in route and X on the drag, you will see it is quite a bit more effective against the match coverage and pulling the tight end open. So I would run that setup before I would run the uh, primary setup versus cover four. As I always hope y'all found that helpful. Like, comment, smash that subscribe. Are y'all already kind of looking forward to next year? Y'all getting ready? Kind of looking forward to it. Drop a comment. Let me know what you're thinking. Damn boys. Peace.